Hello, welcome back to the channel everyone. So today is a video sharing some recent projects I made using the Scrap Diva Designs um, dies from the March release. So first up I'm going to share with you this one which is called Jam Jars. It comes with two different sizes, a large and a small. Um, the ones I made are using the large, I believe. Yeah, the ones I made are using the large. Okay, so these are the two that I made. So here's this one. Uh, this paper collection I'm using is Sweet Story from Maggie Holmes. Look how pretty that is. So I did make it a shaker. And I think it turned out really pretty. Made some tiny little flowers. Um, just These are just using my punches that I had. This little punch I've had forever since I first started crafting. And this tiny, tiny one, even tinier one, that I got at, I think, American Crafts one time when I was at the warehouse. So, anyway, this one's 0.375 <laughs> inches. So, look how tiny that is. So... This pink one, I made, these are these tiny ones, and then that tiny one is made using this little punch. I think they turned out so cute. Um, and then I used, for the leaves, for this, I used the <coughs> leaves out of this set here, which you can't really tell what it is, but it is the flower pot gift card set. So that's the, um, leaves that I use for this and I have a layer of pattern paper and then a layer of vellum on top um, just for sturdiness. This one I tied a um, um, some baker's twine around and then this is a cute little um, you know flat back piece like nail art stuff that I just uh, received from Timu. In a Timu haul I just had. There's a tiny little bow, resin bow that I had in my stash. This is a uh, sentiment from the from the Sweet Story collection so I think that turned out so cute so there's that one and then there is this one now this one I cut out three times out of the um, <clears throat> you know the foam board stuff from Dollar Tree I cut that out three times because <clears throat> I've had this one sitting waiting to finish for a while because I was waiting to receive these strawberry things back here um, and the reason why is I wanted to gift some of those strawberry things. And so that's why I made it three deep. And then I used, I put this little peel strip here. That is also from Scrap Diva from this set, which is the basic hang set. So I use this, you know, just a, a portion of this strip hole thing that you can do. Because I wanted to, I thought that would be a cute idea to put some in a jar that you could gift to somebody. So I put a few little just like, um, you know, sequin things in the background there, but mostly I made this tall so I could fit some of those little cabochons and, and gift it as a gift. So, and then again, I used the same type of things, same flowers, same layered up, and um, some little trim on the top. So I think it turned out really cute. So I just think that what a cute way they could just, whoop, just lift that up, pull that down, and empty it out. And then what I thought too was. <clears throat> Let's see where the die go. Um, what I thought too was I cut another one of them. So I thought um, whoever I sent it to, I will um, put this in there too. So they could rip this open, take the stuff out, and then just replace the back with um, a new piece. So they could use it as an embellishment of their own if they wanted to. Or they could... They could like fill it up again and put that in there, make another shaker, whatever they wanted to do. So I thought that would just be a cute, cute and fun way to, um, you know, to be able to share some little things like this rather than just putting them in a baggie or something, you know, I just thought that was so cute. So I think they turned out super pretty. This jar is really handy for sequin mixes and this kind of stuff. You could put all kinds of stuff in here. So they turned out very pretty, I think. So that was my first project. Okay, and then next, <clears throat> I made um, a couple of the butterfly bag topper from Scrap Diva. 
Um, it comes with two sizes and um, some extra just plain um, butterflies so you can just like use it without making it a bag topper. So you've got your big one and I might have already told you guys this, told you guys this, but for those of you who maybe didn't see the first video. So you get, you get your one with the layering, you get your smaller one with the layering, okay? And then you get one of these extra. So you got your, these two pieces that you could layer up together. So you don't have to make it a bag topper if you don't want to, or you could use more of these to layer up on the, you know, on the, on the small one. So that's what they look like. So very cute and handy for smaller bags. A lot of times I do have smaller bags and it's like, I don't want that big long bag topper on there when I wanna, you know, when I'm cutting out just a, a one from a die. So that is the next die that I'm featuring. So here's a couple of ones that I made. Now these ones I cut out of the, the, this one I'm using the Garden Party from Maggie Holmes. So here's the larger one obviously and the smaller one. Again I used, I made some tiny little flowers using that punch. I have, uh, it's like three, three layers of the butterfly added here and then I just used these, some of these stamens from, for flowers. I just glued those underneath. And then a tiny little bow punch I had, and then just some little stuff. So you guys just slide that right down over the top of a, a bag, and there you go. So I made these two cute little ones. Okay. And then I also made a couple more. <clears throat> and I have them in here, this next project that I'm going to share with you, which is using... This die set from Scrap Diva, which is the loaded pocket uh, medium size. So here is my loaded pocket. So cute. Now this is a little different because I made my loaded pocket also a card. So I just thought, what a cute way, load up the pocket and then... Um, I mean, this could be a whole little swap. In fact, I'm thinking about maybe doing a swap like this, hosting a swap like this, maybe doing uh, a loaded pocket and then look at the, everything's together. So I couldn't, I didn't write anything in here. I just put a little sticker in the corner and then I just attached a couple of tags from the collection right here that the person could use. This one, I used the same die cut, die base and then I just cut it across for a little pocket and then I stuck in some, um, you know, cut apart pieces from the collection also. Okay, and then on the front, I have right here, I have my cute little, another little bag topper. Okay, and then in the pocket, inside the pocket, I have another little bag topper. And then on this one, uh, the the backing for this one is cut from the small, the loaded pocket small set. So I use that to fit inside the pocket um, to hold. And I just have a glue dot on the back there to um, you know, kind of hold this in place for the recipient. And then just built the same way, some three or four layers of, of um, the pattern papers and then you know, everything's kind of the same. So I have that one in there. And then this one is another one and it's, I just have this, um, let me pull this off here carefully. This is, just have a glue dot on this one too. Hopefully I don't rip it. Okay, so I kind of ripped it, but I'm gonna put it back the same place anyway. But this is another one and this whole thing can come out. It's just glue dotted to the, you know, to the other layers. So I got two layers here and then here's a third layer that I wanted to um, add this thing to. So, and this also is from the small collection. So it's the same design as this one, the same shape, but it's from the small set. Okay, and then what I added on here was just a, I just used this little, um, it's like a keychain, like a 
keychain type holder that comes with the medium set. And so um, I layered it up and cut it out. Anyway, I just thought it would make a cute way to um, um, gift some beads and charms. And so I just attached the cute little ball and chain thing right here underneath, you know, the keychain. I just um, stapled it down there. There's a piece of, there's the glue dot right there to hold it in place. And then I just put a little, this little cabochon that I recently hauled right there at the top. And then I just, you know, um, attached jump rings to all these beads and charms. And I just, ha um, you know, hung them on there. So when the person gets it, they can just take them off and use them on whatever projects they want to. So I thought that was a cute way to gift some items. So I'll just um, attach that right back here to my backing where it goes with the with the um, glue dot. Okay, and then this just goes back in here. And I bet this can go there, but I I just kind of flipped it back and then let it hang over the top of this and it just makes it look so pretty okay and then this can just go back in here and I could have put more in the um, more flatter things back there in the pocket but I had already I had made these that I wanted to gift and they were um, you know already pretty chunky so that's what I did there. Here is the uh, my favorite bow from Scrap Diva, which is the double loop bow. It is uh, this one. The set comes with three different three different sizes of this of this shape bow. I use the uh, uh, small one on this one. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So here that was my front. Okay. Then I'm gonna open it up, and I showed you what was inside already. So. Here could it be uh, underneath here could be my card. I could write something or just leave it blank and just oh I stamped under here too. Hello Spring. That's from the um, uh, Easter ribbon slider set that comes with this with a stamp set. So I just stamped um, the words Hello Spring underneath there in pink. I uh, I think it was pink flamingo from it's a Tim Holtz um, uh, color. Uh, distress oxide ink which I love <laughs> okay so then I just went ahead and attached two things just to kind of gift some more things so I'm kind of just trying to gift like this whole thing as you know from the same collection so you got some cut apart you got some tags this is my also my built-in um, card for the person attached with a cute little clip these are just some st more stickers from the collection okay and then on the back I did another layer and then I used um, show you that one so this set which is called the Easter ribbon slider so with this set you get pull them out of the bag here so I can show you and I've made some already that I short shared in a, a previous <coughs> um, project share video <coughs> oh, sorry guys so it comes with this piece which is kind of the decorative um, doily type piece you get this piece <clears throat> which is just going to cut out this all around, okay? And then you get this piece, which has this little square insert here. So these kind of look the same, but you have this other little square piece in here, which if, when you cut it out, will give you um, the outside, plus this will cut out separately, this little square uh, uh, rectangle there in the center will cut out separately, okay? And then it also comes with the stamp set. So I used... Um, this word and this word and put them you know just stamped them separately okay I used this one he is risen I used that in my Easter card I made for my mom I have these other ones and some of the other products that I made so this is a fun set to have <coughs> so let me show you so I just decided rather than I didn't put the I didn't make it a ribbon slider, so all, all you would have done if um, you wanted to make it a ribbon slider is um, thread your ribbon through these little slots here on the ends. So I decided just to, um, I used the word spring again, stamped them with the same ink and stuff, and then I uh, put foam behind this. So <clears throat> I think you probably understand what I mean, but let me, if there's any newer people, 
<clears throat> let me show you what I'm talking about when I say um, that one piece <clears throat> cuts out a piece like this so it's all solid okay other than just your ribbon sliders okay but if you use the other one that I showed you that had the rectangle in it it will give you the hollow piece plus this piece that it will cut this piece out. So this piece that cut out, I cut a bunch of these in white and then stamped my spring on it here. And then I put some foam tape on there underneath it and just propped it back up on there. So for these, I have this solid piece from the one die set and then, or for the one die, and then this other solid piece that cuts out from this one that hollows out, okay? And that's what I stamped on and I just layered them up. And I didn't use the decorative, uh, the more decorative, um, you know, scallop piece on this, on these ones. <clears throat> so anyway, I stamped that on there and then I made some more little tiny flowers with that punch. And then I decided to um, just add a jump ring and then attached a bunch of beads and charms and stuff to each one. So I think that makes a fun little um, gift also for somebody to use. And then I used the punch, those punches again, and I made some little flower clusters. <clears throat> I was just going to attach them all here around to the, um, you know, to this backing with uh, glue dots. But I thought that uh, it might be, they're so tiny that might kind of come apart. So what I did was just attach them all to a, I just took a little um, circle punch and I just kind of um, attached them, each one of them to the circle dots. So they could be used like this as they are, or, you know, you could probably pry them off and use them separately if you wanted to. But anyway, so I think I got quite a bit of things to gift someone in this um, little, this little um, loaded pocket. I could have put something around here too. In fact, I, on my other one that I did, that I previously did, I made another pocket on here um, out of the small, from the small um, loaded pocket set too. So I used the small pocket. So I had two layers of pockets. I can't seem to get that to stick in there. Got to, I should have probably put this one in first before I put the other one there, but you get the drift. Okay, so there's that hanging. I could maybe do a tassel or something off here or the side too if I wanted to, but I didn't on this. This one I just punched a hole in these sides and attached this cute little, you know, heart clip thing there. I think it turned out really cute. And what a fun way to, you know, give somebody a quite a few different items that they could use, you know, so just pick a collection and and give somebody everything's all in one, you know, your loaded pocket and your card and all the little gifts. So I think that turned out really cute. So anyway, I don't know. I think it turned out cute. So anyway, that is my project share for today. I will link all the dies that I used um, below. I'll have Erica's information, the website link, my affiliate code link. Um, be sure if you decide to pick any, anything up from the Scrap Diva website that you use my code, which is um, Polka 10, it's P-O-L-K-A 10. That gives you 10% off your entire purchase. I appreciate those of you who use that. That is so helpful. Thank you so much. Everybody, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.